He has risen from the dead, is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I glorify your name. I give you thanks and praise and adoration. And I commit, O oh Lord, this hour, this moment into your hands because she will know you are God and God of possibility and God that knows all things and that put everything in order. Take us to the control and take charge. In the name of Jesus, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our Lord is good all the time. Our God is faithful and is a wonderful God. I'm here for international call for prayer. Know God yourself. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Know God yourself. Know God yourself. Praise the Lord. Today we are going to talk uh, about partiality praise the lord partiality partiality praise the lord in the house of god in the gathering of the son among members among brethren who has renounced your way and come to christ but still there are things that is going on in the gathering of the saints today that has not been taken care of that we, as a believer, we have neglected it in one way that the other without taking note of this. But we move on, we continue like we are, we are really doing the work of God. We see this in, in, in everywhere, even in the politics, and we see it also now, we see it in the house of God. We see it among brethren who are called by God. Doing this, entertaining partiality in our calling, then we are being shot not to see far and not to do the work of God properly. Because your calling and knowing God is included that you should do what is right and to see things the way God wants you to see it. Praise the Lord. We are going to be reading the book of Leviticus 19 and 15. And we are also we are going also to read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse, uh, of verse 17. Praise the Lord. So these are the Bible verse we are going to use. And we'll read the New Testament, the book of James chapter 2 so we are going to see because we neglect this area of our christianity of our calling when you read the book of james chapter 2 when you start from one is so it's talking about our faith should not be of respect of any man of of should not be in impartiality to be partial in our faith now many of us and many believers today who has been called by god though they have been called by god there are they they, they, they are missing things there are things they have they, they have thrown away and there are things they have decided to do not listening to god properly listening to God and do according to what the voice of God is telling them and what the word of God is telling them. Like I said before, this partiality is in politics. We see it among politicians that if you are if you are if you are if you have been known like you are recognized, then you see that things they they they, they, they exalt you. Praise the Lord. But when you are not recognized, you see, you remain where you are. 
But one thing I've come to announce to people who will come across this video, it is God that is all, not human. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But I've come to make us to understand that we should do our job properly. We should do it well, the way God calls us. Because when God calls us into the ministry, He calls us and He expects us to do His business in the right way, in the right form. Because our God is just, is not a respecter of anybody. He does not show favorism. Today, in the house of God, favorism has been shown in the aspect of looking at people because of their rank or because of the education and because of one and the other. But I've come to treat this matter today to tell the people of God that this ought not to be so. This ought not to be so. We have to do it properly the way it, it, it has to be according to the word of God, according to the voice that, that we heard from God. This is how it is. So we should do it the way God wants us to do it because being the image of God, being called by God, God expects you to be a representative to do what is right. Because the church should be and the gathering of the saints should be the last, the last people who should be unfaithful. If the government as if the government is being unfaithful, judging matters or treating matters, then the church should remain right treating matters. Praise the Lord. Because we are God representative here and God expects the best from us. He does not expect for us, he does not expect us to be partial in judgment in any matters. I don't know where you might be, part, be showing partiality as you come across this video and talking to you today. I don't know where you are. Wherever you are, I'm talking to somebody. I don't know where you will be showing partiality, but I'm telling you that your call, the call of God upon your life, God wants you to do what is right. He wants you to do what is right. When something happens, we take this, we, 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 we take lawyers and we take the matters to judge, and the judge, after everything, the judge has to pronounce. So this is how it is supposed to be for us. We know sometimes there are people who have not done wrong, they go in for what they have not done. So this same thing is taking place in the house of God today. We neglect people because we see them that what, did, what can this person offer? You could not see what this person could offer because we have come short seeing what God wants us to see. If, for example, as someone was sent into the house of Jesse, see the brother of David, he would have accepted the brother before David. But God make him to understand no. And most of us in the house of God today, in the garden of God, we have neglected even when God speaks to us. We begin to look the rock and begin to look the level, begin to look how long you are afraid to speak the truth when you see the truth. You are afraid to tell the person that the, this person, you are wrong. Because of this attitude and showing partiality, we have come short of the glory of God. We have been blind and not seen far anymore. There are things God wants us to know more, but because of showing partiality, we are not representing anymore. Then God is looking at us. Even when God speaks to us, we say no. So we should be careful. I'm going to take my Bible verse from Leviticus 19, verse 15. He says, Yes shall do no 
no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the might. But in righteousness thou shalt judge thy neighbor. This is what the Bible is saying. But today, we have neglected certain of people because we think that they have nothing to write home about. Who told you? As God speaks to you in that way, as God not choosing the poor, the people who wrote the Bible under the inspiration of God, who were there, who were there? The business of God is a business to be straightforward. David was a sheep keeper when God called him to become king. So we should not show partiality in everything that we, in, in, when we are doing the things of God, the business of God. Because of this partiality, many churches have gone out of the track. I'm telling you the fact. You take it, you believe it or not. We are in the exam all. The hand shall tell. And God will show you how you become partial in judgment. How you show partiality in some matters. He will reveal it to you if we refuse to see it now. The Bible should be a book and a place where we, we, we take our rules and regulations from, where we take our judgment from. But today is not so. We have neglected this area. God has put it in my heart to talk about it. When you don't tell the child that he's doing wrong, he will think that he's doing right. When the church grows up, then you can no longer control that church anymore. It takes the intervention of God to change that church. That is why we must treat every matter the way we sh it should be. Praise the Lord. When we read, read Deuteronomy chapter 1, Verse 7 says, do not show partiality in judgment. Ye both small and the great alike. Do not be afraid of anyone for judgment be, belong to, uh, do not be afraid of anyone for judgment belongs to God. Now, what I'm saying, judgment belongs to God. Most times God tell us that this is what we should do. We said no. We begin to look the rank of this person. <laughs> we begin to look at the faces of these people. We begin to look the level of education. Oh my God. We begin to look at sincerities of because of the riches, because of what the person have. We begin to look at those things and become Showing partiality in doing what is right. It happens in churches too. That's why a lot of people are for shots. They have become blindfolded. They are not seen anymore. Yes, this is the very truth. They could preach. Yes, they could speak the word of God. <laughs> but there are things they are not seen anymore. There are things they are not be used for anymore. Because God has rejected them. Praise the Lord. We should not be partial in matters, in anything. That is why, as God put this in my heart, I come to tell somebody who will come across this video in any country wherever you are i don't know any area you have been partial in your calling in christianity in the guardian of the saint 
you have to be careful and retreat back and stop to show partiality and don't look at me. When you read the book of Jeremiah, connected to this, the book of Jeremiah, chapter, uh, chapter 1, when you read from 7 downward, God says to Jesus, says, don't look at your faces. So Christians of today, we are looking at faces, looking at uh, bishop, whatever, I don't know. But in business of God, we should not show partiality. We should be fair in, in everything that we do when it concerns God. I'm not saying we should not respect people. I pray that we understand the picture I'm trying to show and to give to audience and those who come across this video today. We should be careful. We should mind the way. A sister once said, not that I was told, <laughs> I was dead. She once said, there, 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 there is a program that was going on at that particular uh, time. So two brothers were to be choose to represent the youth of the church. The sister says something itself. The brother who is supposed to be choose to represent the youth at that program, after conclusion, then the sister said something. He said, the brother is not presentable. Oh my God. I looked, I said, why will you say such a thing? Has God said this to you? He said, no. Look at this brother. He looked presentable, you know. He can speak and... Mm. But at the end. So sometimes we should be careful in doing this. We should not look the standard of that person. Or I don't know. We should not be looking the outwardly appearance. Today many people are sitting the altar because of what they give to church and because of. Uh, the level of education because of uh, whatsoever. Neglecting somebody who God are choosing to do his work. God is saying to every minister around the world today, don't show partiality. Do not show favorism because of Padi Padi because I know this person because of what this person has given to the church has, has given to me. Is that the plan of God? Is that the is that the 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 word of God to you? No. Even in the book of Acts, let me say this. In the book of Acts, when the apostle were about to choose somebody who to represent Judah is Carrot, what they, they prayed, they prayed. But assuming they refused to pray and say, let's choose whosoever we want to take because of to show favor or to be partial, they would have taken the wrong person. I don't know if somebody is understanding the picture I'm trying to give out here. They would have ended up taking the wrong person, but they prayed. And God gave them the right person. Today, we, we start doing this on our own, neglecting God. And say, let's do it because of this person. Yeah, he, he can speak very well. Yeah, he can speak very well. <laughs> it's the things of God. <laughs> it's all about, is it all about he can speak? It's all about if. People has been won into the kingdom of God. It is God that gives the power. 
that give the strength, that give the entrances. That is why it is not you memorizing what to say. Jesus says, whatever you are going to speak at that moment will be given to you. It is the spirit that teaches. It is the spirit that gives all that you want to say. As God led, as God wants you to speak at that moment. That is why when the spirit comes to, to Peter, he stood up among the apostles and he speak. And this was just ordinary fisherman. That is why I don't believe and I don't, I don't look at the containers of people. I am being moved when the spirits, the spirit, the spirits give me all trances to speak. So we should not be looking at outwardly appearance of people and say, this is capable. And this is what I don't like. And this is what makes me, when, it, when it's taking place in the gathering of God, I don't keep quiet when wrong is going on. No. If Jesus would have quiet, the apostle would have, would have the, 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 the kept quiet, maybe we would not be at this level where we are today. Jesus speak. Though he show loves to people, he speak also to the people, he tell them to do what is right. Open rebuke. That is why I don't keep quiet when wrong is going on. We are not called to keep quiet when wrong is going on. We are called to be right and to tell people that what you are doing or this, this is how it ought to be. If we are to be quiet, then there should be no lawyer, there should be no judge. We have lawyers who fight for us. When somebody do us wrong, we take lawyers. And we have judges who, 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 who conclude the matters. So this is how it is also in our Christian life. God has placed us here. The day he called us, he wants us to do what is right. Because God is not, he's not showing favorism in any matters when you do wrong and when you are not capable god will not favor you because of you have given lot or because you are educated or because you are this because you have this that oh no god don't do that so god also want us to do the same We should all do the same. As men that come across this video, may God make you understand by the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't show partiality in anything. Judge it the way it should be. Because you are light. People is looking at you. They want to hear. That is why even they want to hear Jesus. Someone to test him. Someone to hear Jesus. They brought their woman caught in adultery. They want to hear, hear him speak. What would this man say in this matter? But Jesus spoke right. He showed love. He judged right and he said to the woman, the last one, he said, go woman and sin no more. This is what is being expected from believers, from those who are called into the ministry. Apply wisdom when doing things. Apply wisdom and also make people to understand when they are wrong, make them to also understand you are wrong. When they are not capable, make them to also understand. We should not show favor because we want to favor this person. And sometimes the voice of 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 of, 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 of plenty of people or majority is never the voice of God. We see this in the case of King Ahab. 
It's never the voice of God. And this thing also, we also do this in the, in, in the house of God, in the gathering. Most times we say the majority win the vote. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, we are making a lot of mistakes. I pray that we understand this. I pray that we understand to trace back so that we won't miss the track. This thing, this, this topic, I believe we are going to talk about it more and more. There's a lot to talk about because we have neglected this area in our Christian life. Maybe next time we're going to read the book of James chapter 2. We have neglected this. We start doing things on our own. Let's do, oh, yeah. Let's do it on our own. Leave God aside. Then after, we still go back to God again and say, God, ah, it don't backfire. I don't know what to do. Like what happened in the case of Abraham? Listening to the voice of the wife. Later, he went to God and said, God, God said, list it to your wife. Okay, go back to her. List it to your wife. Because you listened to her before. So we should pay, we should, we, 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 we should be careful. This is the message God has laid in my heart to, to tell the world today. Know God yourself. And my encouragement those who have the calling of God upon their life, no matter what, even if you are being neglected in the church, or even if you are being scorned like you are nobody, I come to tell you something, never you look at anyone, but look unto Jesus who has called you. Because he knows how to publish you. Even if he's not going to publish you, you might be just at one second. He wants you to save just to so. Do it. The hand, it was matters a lot. The hand is what matters a lot. It is no matter of the crowd you, you pull. Out there, people see you. He said, this man pull a lot of crowd. No. We should not look at it. Our faith should not be on physical level, but it should be on the spiritual level. You have to see beyond. When you are seeing beyond the physical realm, then you know what God has designed you to be and what God has designed for you in a due time. He's the one to lift you up. Don't think about all these things. I'm talking to somebody. So we are around the world. And God will make you come across this message. I don't know your level of Christianity. I don't know if you belong in the Christian realm, but God is talking to you. Whoever the person is, he, he is, God is speaking to you. Partiality is bad. Showing favorism is bad. We should not. We should not. Because it happened. It happened in the politics. We should not also bring it in the house of God. We should not also bring it in the gathering of the saints. Mm -mm. The Bible wants us to do what is right, not what is wrong. It wants us to be light to the world, to show them the path to righteousness, to show them the way to God, to the Father. That is why Jesus become example so that we, it should be our full stop. He says he is the way, the way to the Father. No one come to the Father without him. So he is, uh, he, he is, he is, uh, is the picture, is the, is, the, is the one we ought to imitate. We see the life he, he lived and he gave us an example how to live this life. 
So we should imitate him, we should emulate him in everything that we, we are doing so that we shall be called Christ-like. But when we allow partiality to be among our calling, then we will miss the track. I'm telling you. We will miss the track. Because God never wants us to show partiality. The business of God is not showing favorism. Yes. We ought to do what is right. Because God is not partial, so also he expects every one of us to do the same. Because we are the image of God. People are looking up to us. So we should do what is right. Now, I, I never want to, to have this, this area because we see this all the time. In the house of God, in the gathering of God, doing all these things. You see, a lot of people who are supposed to be minister of God, we have used our ways of showing favorism to cheat a lot and bring them down. And God is not happy about this. And it also happened sometimes amongst our family, we love one child more than the other. You know, sometimes this breaks, it breaks the family apart. It makes the other one to feel bad. That is why there are a lot of people, we come across a lot of people, they begin to talk and begin to blaspheme the church because of what is going on. Though we are not perfect, we are walking towards perfection. We know this, but we should try and put it into practice and say, God, help me. I want to be just in judgment, in matters, in everything that I do. There are matters people are supposed to bring before us, but because of we are not judging right, because we are not playing the role of being that light, then the person is discouraged and say, hmm, what is, what is the need? We should take note of what we are doing in the church in the house of God. Because the house of God is a place where tomorrow you might not be there. Another person take place. Mm. Mm. I don't want to talk about this because, you know, we, we, we see this like, like also in the house of God, like family, it, it, you know, it's not a, a, a really family business. Because one day, God will take you and another will take place. I keep telling people that the things of God, when your turn on is over, God bring another person in. So while we are doing the things of God, we should be fair in giving the right judgment. Not showing favor, is it? Not being partial. But to say it the way it is. Don't look at face. This is what is killing a lot of believers today. That is why many believers today, they have missed the track. They are still moving. 
They are still going, but they already missed the track. If God has called you, God has called you to do what is right. This is my point. And this is what I've come to tell you. Someone around the world. Know God for yourself. If you know your father, if you know the God who has called you into the ministry by vision and revelation, then you know how to do things right. This is it. That is why you need to know God yourself. I love this platform. Know God yourself. When you know God yourself, then you will know how to do right. How to treat matters right. How not to look at faces of people no matter how the person is. Big or small, rich or poor, you will not be afraid of their faces. Neither look to what they have or what they have acquired in life. I don't look at this. Mm -mm. And that is why there are some matters. There are some matters I look into the matters, uh, you know. If you. It, I, 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 like the rank you have or whatever, I don't know. The, the, the rank you have, it doesn't really matter to me. But what matters to me is to say it the way it is so that tomorrow when you come to, 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 to understanding, when you come to yourself, then you know that what this person say is he, 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 he said right. Yes. Today we might judge matters and somebody might say, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, this person. Provided you know you have told the truth. Provided you know you have not shown partiality. Provided you know you have not shown favorism. If you have shown favorism and you will be partial, you yourself, you know. You tell yourself, yes, I know I've, 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 I've shown favorism in this area. Well, we should not do this. We should not do this. We should not do this. I am so so saying this because you know we can come across any situation in our life tomorrow. But it depends how you treat that matters. Then those people hearing you sees you, then they will say, this person is truly a child, a son or a daughter of God. <laughs> he has spoken right. The Spirit gives the conviction that what this person has said is true. That is why God has put this in my heart to see it and it does not end here we are going to continue but in God said I should stop there are lots to talk about this in the house of God we should stop we should stop and do what is right and we should not look at this or that this that this person is capable or this person is not capable this person can do it very well this person cannot do it very well. who said so as god said told you that this person is not capable or this person is capable did god speak to you that this person is not capable or this person is capable many are walking by sight Looking at the physical things and reward people. 
We look at the physical things to exhort people. But I've come to say to you, if God has not exhort you, somebody is exhorting you due to because of one thing or the other, you are in danger. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are in danger. Be careful. Be careful. May God help us. May God continue to strengthen us and to make us to understand and to do what is right before God so that God can give us more information. Because of certain things we are doing, <laughs> even, even, we, even we cannot say what we be tomorrow. Mm. We are reading the Bible today. The Bible, it carries the formation of the past, the present, and then the future. But God gave these people inspiration to write, to, 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 to jot down this so that we, we also come. And our children is coming across this tomorrow. They will also study. How come these people were able to jot down all this? Because they give themselves more fully and do what is right before God. They were able to put this down for me, for you, for people who to come after we. Mm. Yeah. But today, a lot of people cannot even tell. We cannot even tell. Even when God gives us vision, revelation about what will happen tomorrow, we even refused to give this information to brothers, to sisters, to help the church. Something a lot of people could not even see it because of they are not their way has not their, their ways are not right with God because they are not doing what is right. They have shown partiality in one way and the other. They have feast their eyes on the physical things, neglecting the spiritual thing. The physical way neglecting the spiritual way. Not seeing what God is telling them. But viewing things in their own way to cram it on their own way. But if we follow God the way it should be, I tell you, there are more things God wants to tell you and I. There are more things God wants to inform us about the danger coming, how we are to overcome it. How we are to be saved. Though everything is in the word of God, there are still more he wants to tell us. According to the book of John chapter 14, there are still more he wants to give to us so that we know. Because of partiality, we are not able to undo the one God has given to us. We are showing partiality on the one he has given to us. Hmm. Then how will you do the one is to bring or is to give to us? Jesus said to Nicodemus, I tell you at least things you could not believe. Is it when I tell you every little things you will believe? I stop here today. Because we have more to say about this. So that the world will yield. So that who think that they have gone far. That they are Alpha and Omega. Not looking where they have shown partiality. And trace back their way. And stop showing partiality. 
then they should hear this so that they will not say they are not warned. We are the voice. We should be the voice telling people out there, making them to understand that this is how it ought to be. We should be the voice. Because many people, I'm not blaming anyone, neither accusing anyone, because I know it, it happens everywhere. But your ability to speak to them and to make them to understand, then they trace back. There are things we do in theory and there are things we do practically. Theory and practical are not the same. That is why God himself, he knows how to speak to everyone in the way he can understand. If God speaks to you through dream, he sees that you, you cannot understand, then he can send someone to you to speak to you. In different form, God speaks to everyone. In different level, He knows. So that is why we should not be silent. May God bless us all. I've come to talk about today is partiality. We should stop. This is my message. Every other thing I spoke of is addition. But the true thing here is we should stop showing partiality. I don't know the way you understand it, and I believe the Holy Spirit will make you to understand it. He has made me to understand. So it will also make everyone who will come across this message to understand in your own way so that you stop showing partiality in everything you are doing concerning God. Even when it concerns not God, don't show partiality because the day we give our life to, to Christ, to God, then it means that we should not show partiality in anything you are doing whether outside there in the church anywhere we should not so this is what i've come to say this is what i've come to tell someone out there anything you are doing in life don't show partiality good name is better than great riches let people know you that yes this is how it is done when people say it's like this, sometimes take shortcuts. Mm -hmm. It is very important. When people know you don't take nonsense, they won't tell you nonsense. When they know you take nonsense, they will tell you nonsense. May God bless us today. And I believe the Holy Spirit will make us to understand in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, and I thank you, Lord, because I know you are the one who gives Lord, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And you are the one who gives your word. Lord, Father, Lord, as you have given to me, I you spoke, Lord. Lord, may your name be glorified. Thank you, everlasting Father, because I know, Lord, you only God that with your mighty hand you shall deliver your sons and your daughter from any area lord that they are showing partiality we are showing partiality even me is showing partiality father lord take us to the control may your name forever be praised in jesus name amen like i said before i'm here for international call for prayer may god bless you and god continue to strengthen you you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Uh, thank you, my honorable uh, mommy, woman of faith. Uh, 
Pastor Brenda, uh, uh, Brenda, Brenda. Thank you, my wonderful mommy, uh, Mrs. Pat. Thank you very much. God bless you, my God bless you, man. Thank you for this great opportunity you are giving to me on this platform. May God continue to strengthen you and to empower you. And may God continue to strengthen you because as you continue to have time, as you continue to have time for people, and God will continue to create time for you and your family in the name of Jesus. So the same prayer I pray, my mommy, mommy Brenda, Brenda, God will continue to bless you. God will continue to bless you. You have time for us. You have time for everyone, the flocks of God. And God will continue to have time for you. It is not because I am so important. That is why you are here. You took your time to be here. And God will also took his time to be a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire and protection before your own in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you for this great opportunity you have given to me to speak the word of God through this platform. May God continue to bless you and my mommy, Mrs. Pat, my pastor. God bless you, ma. God bless you, ma. God continue to strengthen you. Amen. Thank you, ma. I'm really grateful. I appreciate it.